this video, we will take a look inside the iPhone factory. iPhone is one of the most well-known modern phones in the world. Since its inception, Apple has sold more than a billion units worth hundreds of billions of dollars. iPhone has helped revolutionize mobile phone trends in many individuals' ways of life. A big part of Apple's fame is from its ability to innovate a fantastic technology. Millions of customers worldwide are willing to pay top dollar for the quality, design, and features of the Apple iPhone. However, many users may not understand how manufacturers produce iPhones. Well, the truth is, is that your iPhone was not manufactured and designed in one country. Several countries and companies come together to create an iPhone. If you have ever bought an iPhone or another Apple product, you probably have seen the note on its packaging that its products are designed in California, but that doesn't mean that they're manufactured there. So, where are iPhones manufactured? And what is it like to be inside the Apple iPhone factory? When trying to understand how and where Apple manufactures its devices, it depends on two vital concepts, which sound similar, but are quite different. Assembling and manufacturing. Manufacturing is the process of making the components that go into the iPhone. Although Apple designs and sells the iPhone, it doesn't manufacture its components. On the other hand, assembling is the process of taking all the individual components built by specialist manufacturers and combining them into a finished working iPhone. Most of the manufacturing process of an iPhone consists of buying the products from manufacturers and assembling them in good factories. Apple iPhone sources its materials from all over the world. In an attempt to offer the very best technology at the lowest possible price, they are willing to scour the globe to get the best component manufacturer. At the same time, while searching for the best companies to work with, they need to partner and work with component manufacturers who can produce on a massive scale. More than 200 companies worldwide manufacture and supply Apple iPhone manufacturers with their components to produce the phones. These component manufacturers create memory chips, glass screen interfaces, casings, cameras, and everything in between. The location of these component manufacturers vary widely. Components come from companies in South Korea, China, Taiwan, Germany, Japan, India, and many other countries, including the United States. These suppliers send their manufactured components to massive Apple manufacturing factories worldwide for additional manufacturing and assembling. The assembling of the iPhone mostly takes place in East and Southeast Asia, where the labor force is cheap and abundant. So the components go to Apple iPhone factory locations in China, the Czech Republic, Malaysia, Thailand, South Korea, Singapore, and the Philippines. Although iPhone manufacturing facilities are located in many countries worldwide, these manufacturing facilities are only part of two manufacturing companies, Foxconn and Pegatron. These Taiwanese firms manage the iPhone production and ensure the completed phones are delivered on time and with the quality standards Apple demands. However, nothing is quite like the massive Foxconn plant located in Zhengzhou, China. The Foxconn factory, also called the iPhone City, is a factory that spreads across 2.2 million square miles. One of the most significant advantages it has is the fantastic assembly line. The Foxconn factory employs approximately 350,000 people. Foxconn is Apple's longest running partner in building Apple's iPhone. Foxconn currently assembles the majority of Apple's iPhones in its Shenzhen, China location. Foxconn built the factory in 2010, almost exclusively to serve Apple's iPhone production needs. With 600 million in assistance from the provincial government, this factory alone can produce a Technically, Foxconn is the iPhone company's trade name. The company's official name is Hanhai Precision Industry Company Limited. This iPhone factory does the final assembly, testing, and packaging of the iPhones. There are 94 production lines at the Zhengzhou manufacturing site, and it takes about time makes the facility to be able to produce 500,000 iPhones a day, or roughly 350 a minute. This assembling process requires that most workers do one task repeatedly all day such as polishing the screen, soldering one component, or fitting a single screw into the backs of the iPhone, which to the iPhone may take up to a minute to secure one iPhone, thereby completing about 600 to 700 per day. So after the iPhone leaves the assembly line, it is placed in a sleek white fiberboard box, wrapped and put on a wooden pallet, and then wheeled out to trucks waiting outside the factory. The assembled iPhone will be transported to the factory gate, which is a few hundred yards away, to where a large Chinese customs facility is. The custom operators sit in a so-called bonded zone, allowing Apple to sell their iPhones more easily to Chinese consumers. At the final point of the assembly for the iPhone, China also serves as a starting point for Apple's global tax strategy. In Zhengzhou, often in the customs facility, Foxconn delivers the completed iPhones to Apple, which distributes them to Apple's affiliates worldwide. 
Some years ago, personal computers made in China were transported to the US by container ship, lasting about a month. But smartphones are small enough and easy to be shipped by plane in huge quantities, which is cost effective. Apple contracts with major carriers, including FedEx and UPS, to ship iPhones around the world. One Boeing 747 flight can easily carry about 150,000 iPhones tucked into its aluminum canister iPhone bound for the US and other parts of the world leave customs by truck and are transported to the Zhengzhou Airport, China. The airport has been significantly expanded in recent years, as production of the iPhone has increased. From Zhengzhou Airport, Apple carriers such as UPS, FedEx, and other freight carriers fly United States bound iPhone to Anchorage, Alaska, where the jets can refuel. They then mostly travel to Louisville, Kentucky, where logistics professionals sort and reroute the iPhones to their final destinations. Chinese customers pay much higher prices for their iPhones because of their currency fluctuations and the country's hefty value-added tax. For example, a 32GB iPhone 7 sells for about $776 at the Apple Store in Shanghai. In New York, it goes for about $649. The Foxconn Zhengzhou factory is more than 20 miles outside downtown Zhengzhou, separated by freeways, suburbs, and dirt scrublands. Foxconn's present in Zhengzhou, a city of about 10 million residents as of 2020, has transformed life for its poorer residents because it has built new roads, homes, and power plants. With a workforce rivaling that of many US cities, the factory has sprouted what residents have dubbed the iPhone City. There, factory workers live in dorms in 10 to 12 story buildings outside the Foxconn's gates. At the same time, a migrating workforce of entrepreneurs and vendors set up shop below and around the dorms to make a living by cooking street food, offering massages, or selling socks and other clothing. With a population of 1.3 million employees in China's mainland, Foxconn is by far the country's largest private employer. Since it began producing iPhones for Apple in 2007, Foxconn was suicides among Foxconn workers, which prompted riots from workers and protesting overcrowded dorms, poor sanitation, and bad food. This forced Apple and Foxconn to make changes at the factory. Workers on the day shift began streaming in through the factory gates around 7 a.m., while work starts at 8 a.m. Those who can afford the transportation ride motor scooters, but most walk from nearby dorms or take a bus if they live in buildings farther away. There's 20 hours of overtime a week. Pegatron is a relatively recent addition to the iPhone assembly process. It is estimated that it built about 30% of the global iPhone in its Chinese plants. Well, that's it, guys. What do you think about Apple's iPhone factory? What do you think about the future of technologies in the year to come? Let's hear your opinions or views via the comment section. We'll be glad to hear from you. Please, do not subscribe unless you are into technology, because that is what this channel is all about. Now, let's watch another fantastic video from our channel. I'll meet you there.